Right then, the 7710 is all back together. It's looking much better with the covers back on. So yeah, let's go mowing. Seems to be working 
all right after having the compressor realigned. It hasn't slipped the belt yet, which was a common problem we were having with this tractor. So fingers crossed we got on top of that because I definitely want the aircon working all right. So a lot of you guys were asking me on social media why we went for a drum mower and not a disc mower. The answer is pretty simple. It suits us. I mean, we haven't got a lot of acres to cut, so we couldn't really justify spending loads of money on a disc mower. I was looking at second-hand disc mowers and had a bit of a budget in my head of, uh, you know, what I'd like to spend on one. But then we saw the prices of these Coon drum mowers and knew they were quite a bit cheaper than the budget we had for a second-hand disc mower. So it sort of made sense for us. Um, like I said, we can't really justify spending loads of money. I mean, a bigger mower would have been good. I know I'd uh, get more done uh, quicker, but for us, for the amount we've got to do, this uh, little drum mower is perfect. My granddad used to um, run Coon drum mowers like this, so it just made sense, really. And uh, seems to be doing a good job. I know time will tell. This is my first day out with it. First time cutting hay ever, like I said. But um, yeah, so far so good. Well, I've cut my first 10 acres and uh, there's a bit more than I thought there would be, which is good. This uh, handle here, this is to wind the right hand arm uh, up and down, but this does have a tendency to sort of wind down on its own. So I've got a cable tied here so it doesn't do that. So that is the only annoying thing with this tractor. It might end up snapping that cable tie, but um, it's been holding for now, so it should be all right. Acres and then I think I'll be setting it with the hay bob tomorrow. 